Oh my god, we are totally alpining and ridging today. And now you're going to see just how steep a, an increase in difficulty this game is going to take. Because they're going to make you do some pretty crazy stunts here in Alpine Ridge. And we're going to start off with six gems out of 500. They're increasing the amount of gems we got to find once again. But, um, that shouldn't be terrible. 500 is pretty much the most you'll have to get in any level for a very long time. I'm going to have to make this short and sweet. Basically, I'm going to have to jump up here and tap square just enough to pick him off. This is going to be a tough maneuver, and I might die, but here goes. And amazingly, I did not bite the dust. Wow. See? They don't give you a whole lot of room around there. And here's our wizard friends back, manipulating the land as they see fit. Yeah, you trudge after me, Mr. Shaman Man. Going at a top speed of mosey, it looks like. We're going to go over here and we're going to pick up some gems before we go up the stairs here. 15, easy to miss if you're just looking at the stairs. And here's a cool trick they do with the camera right here. The camera pans out and shows you the entirety of the stairs to show you what's going on. The wizard is raising and lowering them like a ramp. They go down, but they're about to come back up, so we need to get up there. And once you kill him, the stairs remain stairs. So, let's see, we got the uh, changing of the guard here. Let's try to get him in one line. Yeah, man, I'm getting good at picking these guys off. Not too bad at all. Okay, and then, bam, bam, bam. And let's talk to our first dragon here, which is Zane. That's a manly name. Spyro. You're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Not a manly beast, Of course beast, not. I didn't think so. Oh, good. I'm going to go away now, and I'm going to have a spot of tea. Ba -ba -ba -da, ba -ba -ba -da. Yeah, pretty much all the dragons in this world are annoying. Magic Crafters, definitely my least favorite world. They are not living up to the image that dragons are supposed to present. And now we're going to float over here to get some gems. We could go either here or over to the right, but we're going to miss a lot of gems if we just start off going over to the right. An enemy we want to watch out... Uh, uh, as I was saying, an enemy we want to watch out here for, and that was a great example of why, is... Uh, well, as soon as I can get up to a place where I can turn the camera... That big fat blue guy over there, you see he shot a giant bolt at us, which was a... Uh, oh, he just knocked him down with the magic. Okay, I see. Well, that would have been nice if he killed him, but it seems they're just horsing around with each other. Well, I'm here to uh, intrude on that horsing around and give him a little what for for killing me. And I only got one gym out of him. What a tightwad. But yeah, you definitely want to watch out for guys like that. And this guy seems to uh, really be eluding our grasp. Okay, I don't know why it went up the first time and not the second. But yeah, those big fat blue wizards, they're the most annoying of all. Because a lot of the time, they're, uh, their bolts will hit you anyway. They're big and fat, and I just got double teamed. That was not cool at all. Just go around in a circle like that getting them. Hopefully there won't be too many more of those guys in this level, because I hate them. They are annoying as hell. I think there was a goat back here, actually. We can probably do a bit of recovering. Yes, thank you. Get healthy, Sparks. You gotta have some faith in medicine. Okay, this is going... Yeah, okay, there we go. But they come out pretty fast, too. I almost uh, got picked off there. And when the wizards don't have anywhere to go, they'll just kind of run around flailing their limbs. So they're easy to pick off. And now we can get back to our regularly scheduled other path. Come on. Come on. Try it. All big and bluster. All bark, no bite. So now we're going to have to make it through... Another one of the wizards raising and lowering a thing, and this is kind of a little bit of a tougher one. He's going to lower it, and then it's going to come up just as quickly. So we got to kind of determine, do a little bit of a premature jump. Oh my god. If I hadn't have charged, I don't think I would have made that. Woo! 
See, that's what charging is good for. Occasionally, you can uh, you can get past the uh, cruel timing of things like that. Whoop, whoop. Make sure to pick up all those gems, because Sparks is kind of laying down on the job today, I see. Ha! That's how we want to enter. Charging, horns out, booyah. Okay. Wow, that was kind of tinny sounding. Ugh. All right, this is a this is also a tough one to get to right here. It's gonna stay down, but not for very long. So I'm gonna judge the jump at right here about. Very good. And now it's gonna stay down permanently because that's what happens when wizards die. Land becomes normal again. And let's have a chat with uh, Eldrid. Oh, thank you for releasing me. Your relief is palpable, Eldred, which is Spanish for the Drid. Okay, jump up here, take him out. I love how slow they walk. It's almost comical. <laughs> okay, and pow, and pow, and pow, and pow, pow, power wheels. And yes. And now we have two giant enemies in a pit. And I'm going to employ my strategy that I always employ when I see two giant enemies in a pit in this game. Jump in, roast them. Both of them, down for the count. The one on the left wasn't even looking. Okay, and I make sure I've got everything in here, and then I come out clean as a whistle. Come on, I dare you. Whoa! Maybe I shouldn't dare people like that. But it's obvious he's just going to stand there and not do anything, so his fate is sealed. Your inaction killed you as much as your action did. And other cliches. Now we gotta be careful here because we'll get ambushed. The wizard makes the land rise and he brings that guy out. Nice try, wizard man, but I'm gonna burn you to a crisp. Okay, gotta get these on the steps here. They're very well hidden. And now we're gonna come over here and get each of these guys in kind. Why don't you die and disappear? He sounds like the T-Rex in Jurassic Park, seriously. And now, Cracker Box. Blow on this, step well away, and gems will pop out. Not that many gems normally, but we're going to be dealing with more of these in this level, which is a uh, very difficult stunt to pull off, as you'll see, when we get to the rest of those things. It's not a part that I generally have a lot of fun with, and I'll probably die at least once doing it. Fall off your dogs, man. It's not like you're going to be living much longer anyway. Jump up here, talk to, uh, what's his face, Xander. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter world. Yeah, that's pretty much the long and short of it, I'd say. And once we get to these over here, if we were to have missed any gems, we can circle back to the beginning of the level from this point, but I am fairly certain we haven't missed anything, though. We all know how much my word means when it comes to that. So, we've pretty much gotten almost all the gems. We've only got a few more left, and most of them are going to be over in this cave over here, along with the dragon egg. And the final dragon. I thought there was... I thought uh, Xander was the last one, but I guess not. Yeah, you run off, dragon egg guy. I gotta have a quick talk with Kelvin. Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the Magic Crafter world. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Yeah. I straight up got it on lockdown, son. We don't have to worry about any of that, because, you know, I've already taken care of all the other ones. This is a pretty easy dragon egg to get right here. Just follow him. Don't worry about gems until you've got the egg. And we've got eight of them. Only four more left to get in. They're all going to be hidden within subworlds of the Magic Crafter Kingdom. So have I gotten everything to this point? I think I have. So now... It's pretty much a cakewalk. The rest of the path... Wouldn't want to run along this path to catch the dragon egg guy. Although it would just be a circle, so... It'd pretty much be just kind of wearing him down. But it's nice that I don't have to run along this path, seeing as there are no railings or anything to keep me safe. They need to, uh... They need to childproof their worlds a little better, I think, around here. Letting a little kid run around like this where he can just die? I can't even fly yet. If I fall into a pit, it's lights out. And speaking of lights out, here comes the hard part. 
Now we have these three firecracker boxes over here, each containing the final gems we need to complete the level. There are 20 gems left, so I think we've gotten pretty much everything we need. I'm gonna fly over here. I wanna do it from the edge. Just barely made that, but that's how it goes. Now I'm gonna turn the camera like this because we have to back away from this. If you blow fire at this and you just stand here, you'll get knocked off by the explosion and you will die because there's no way to get back up from that lake down there. So the easiest way to do this, I'm gonna to try to do this quick and dirty, is I'm gonna turn the camera so that I can move backwards very quickly. You stay there. I'm gonna blow fire, I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna float back. That way I can get away from the explosion. And now I'm going to uh, pretty much do that. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna miss there. Holy crap. But it's a little easier from here on out because now I can just go back from ledge to ledge. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to make sure I'm parallel with the ledge behind me. Keep the camera straight in front of my face. Blow fire. And float. There we go. Wow, I can't believe I'm uh, nailing this on the first try. Usually I have a lot of trouble with this particular part. And now just one more. I'm going to do the same thing here. This last one is kind of the easiest to get to. Although Spyro does kind of like kind of like ease off of things if he runs into them so you got to be really careful about that and one more Whew. oh man thank goodness well i think after nailing that we deserve a swim yay let's go diving no 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 spyro we do not have time for that we need to get out of here <laughs> tempting fate like that i love it and we have secured ourselves 500 more gems for a grand total of 3,800. So the next level on our way to Magic Crafter Mastery. Hey, we nailed ourselves a 1-Up with Solitaire Diamonds. Maybe one of these repeat enemies will give us a, uh, give us something nice. Do they give you anything when you kill them after a Dragon Egg? Probably, uh... I'm going to get him and see if he gives me anything. Come on, come on. This was so easy the first time. Wow, that was a menacing grin on his face. Yeah, they give you a diamond just like any other enemy would. That is very nice of them. So we're going to run up the supercharge ramp here to the high caves, which is where we're going to uh, spend our time tomorrow, playing with a supercharge ramps, doing a lot of practice with those. A lot of, uh, of consequence-free practice with supercharge ramps we're going to be doing tomorrow, getting into that. So we'll see you all there.